Good morning. So today we are going to lunch. Well, I'm going to lunch with my mom and my sister, like an early Mother's Day uh, dinner. Not dinner, lunch. So um, basically I'm getting ready for that. I just came in to like tap in with you guys for to open the vlog or whatever, but that is what I'm doing. Right now I'm just getting ready because um, yeah, I'm just getting ready. Uh, the baby is watching TV, her little show that she likes. Let me just, she's there on her little pillow. So that is how I keep her occupied while I try to get ready because she doesn't care that I'm gone when she's watching that. I mean, she cares, but like <laughs> I get a good amount of time to try to get ready while she's doing that. But that is what we're doing. So I'm just going to get ready and um, I'll be back when uh, I'm done. So, I have definitely cut, hold on, she's crying. So I just finished doing my makeup and my hair. My blush is really blushing, so I'm gonna try to blend that because I'm like looking a little crazy. 
Let me just try to fix it. Because the blush is blushing very much. If it doesn't fix, then whatever. So yeah, that is my face. My baby. I am about to. Yeah, it looks terrible on his body. <laughs> but, um. I am just going to get her ready. So this is what Sarai is wearing, some overalls, and uh, her little Jordans that she can fit now. Something simple. So she's going to chill, and then I'm going to get my outfit ready. So this is what I'm wearing to my Mother's Day dinner. Some sneakers, these jeans, and this top. And uh, yeah, my hair is drying, so and that is what I look like. I forgot to put on mascara. Oops. I'm gonna do that. But I'm gonna pair with my tote bag. But obviously that tote bag is going to have to go with everything because that is my new purse slash diaper bag now. Um, so, yeah. But yeah, that's what I'm wearing. Here's us ready for lunch. Woo woo! Would you like some meat? Really nice restaurants do that though. Fire. She would put her hand. She's buying it. 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 She's buying it
What's wrong? You ready for a nap? Come on, baby. <laughs> so we're back home. Um, lunch was great. Um, basically, it was like an upscale all-you-can-eat, so I kind of got whatever I could get on camera. I wish I would have gotten the guys like shaving the meat off the sticks. Cause like it's just literally all you can eat, all kinds of different meat. And there's like a salad bar with fruit and vegetables, salad, bread, cheeses, all kind of stuff. But it was really nice. I actually enjoyed it. And then I had a really good um, dessert. That was my first like creme brulee dessert and it was delicious. But yes, our lunch was definitely divine and well-deserved. For our Mother's Day, happy Mother's Day, happy Mother's Day, yeah. But yeah, so I'm about to, you know, get out of these clothes, chill, take a nap, feed her, you know what I'm saying. And then uh, we'll tap back in later on. at the park ain't that nice today is a freaking hot as hell there's baby there's daddy do, 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 do. Do You know, 
Let's sit right there in the shade. Right there. Like over by that apartment? Do you remember? They were kids, now listen. <laughs> I like those shoes. Look at that hot mom right there. <laughs> Why do you know that? Is that daddy? What's good, vlog? Happy Mother's Day to all the moms. Mother's Day was a couple days ago, and I spent my lunch with my mom and my sister. Um, and that was on a Friday, so we did that, but I am back after the chaos, but, um, uh, my Mother's Day, my first Mother's Day was great. I really enjoyed my first Mother's Day. Um, I just kind of was chill, you know what I'm saying? I wanted to dress cute, but then when I woke up, I was like, mm, I don't feel like it. So <laughs> it just wasn't, I was going to wear like a cute little sundress, but then I was kind of mad after because my sister wore one and I was like oh my god we could have been like twins but didn't wear one but life update um baby girl has three months now I'm three months postpartum and I have noticed that my postpartum shedding has started I washed my hair the other day and just hair was just coming out my hair is short as y'all can see but it is definitely, um, it's not, I don't feel like, like that it's thin, but my shedding has started. I can't really tell as far as my hairline, but as far as like when I brush it and I'm washing it, like strands are just like coming out and strands are coming out right now. So I've been finding like strands of hair in the bed and just everywhere. But not only is my hair falling out, my baby girl's hair is falling out too. So Rai's hair is falling out. Which, that's normal as well. Babies lose their hair, and they just get a new braid of hair. She's losing her baby hair, basically. So, that's what's happening. We're both going bald. <laughs> as if I wasn't already bald, you know what I'm saying? But, <laughs> we're both going bald at the same time. Togetherness. But, um, yeah. Spending my first Mother's Day with my baby girl was great. Girly, what's wrong, mommy? Hold on, let me just grab her right quick. Since she got to be all up in the biz. All up in the business. So yeah, her hair is falling out. If you can see, look, on that side. And then on this side. She's still got her little duck tail back there. But yeah, her hair is falling out. I um, don't brush it as often. Just because they said not to like brush it too much. Um, so I just brush it like every two days just to kind of like get some stimulating. I still wash it obviously, but like her little baby strands are coming out with my baby, with my freaking hair strands. So we're both just shedding and you know, that's that. But that's just a little life update. What is this little rash you got going on here? Look at that in a second. But yeah so there she is three months hey you want to look on this side hey come here look this way all right she ain't trying she's just focused on something else but um yeah so postpartum shedding is happening there isn't anything else that is happening really um yeah that's just the update basically um 
I went to my mom's house on Mother's Day. Yeah, I can tell you, I can tell you guys about that. But um, I went to my mom's house on Mother's Day. My sister came and all my aunt, my cousin, and they were all moms. So we were all just kind of like chilling, hanging, and all the guys barbecued and made tacos for us. So we had a pretty chill day. Watch some movies, obviously. Everybody else's kids are like a little bit bigger, are bigger. Uh, the youngest one is like two years old. She is the youngest at this point. So she's three months. So I still have to do like, you know, breastfeeding and diaper changes. Everybody else is like kids running around, going to the bathroom. So they got grown kids. <laughs> I have a baby. So, but it was fun. Had a good time. I enjoyed my Mother's Day. Made some TikToks, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, yeah. But that is about it. Um, gifts. Got lots of cute gifts. Loving gifts. Let me tell y'all. I ordered a gift for Sarai to give to my mom. And it was a mug that said, Happy First Mother's Day as my grandma. Right? cute and so it was supposed to be here on friday it didn't come friday so then it said that it was delivered on saturday and so i'm looking for it it's not in the mailbox it's nowhere to be found so i'm looking everywhere for it and i cannot find it so sunday comes and i don't even have the gift to give to my mom for mother's day so i got her a gift but i also would have had hers in the bag too because I got a card to go along with it and so now my mom just has two cards and one gift when she's supposed to have two gifts and two cards one from me one from her and yeah so that was disappointing that I couldn't you know present that gift to her for Sarai and it was super cute but um, I just basically emailed the company and was like, hey, can you guys just send a new one? Because it's clearly lost. I've looked everywhere. I went to the leasing office. Sometimes I drop off stuff there. It's just, I just can't find it. So that was really sad because I don't want my money back. I really do want the mug. I want her to have the mug. But yeah, she is focused on the camera. Look at you. You like your dad. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. I just that is that that's basically the update um, that we have. Um, hey, see, I see you. I see you, beautiful. Yes. Look at you, see yourself. Yeah, we're about to probably go take a walk before it gets super hot outside. Just so we can get some fresh air, so I can tie her out, so she can take a nap, because she is not napping. But now that we're at three months, like, she's just taking those little cat naps that aren't progressing, like, and, uh, yeah, I don't know. I've noticed Sarai is very much like me. Let me turn this light off. Sarai is very much like me to wear, like, when you're around a lot of people, um, you kind of get a little exhausted by everybody. So I've noticed that when she's around everyone, she gets exhausted. And I think I need to, as a mom, I need to like protect that, protect her energy. Um, because I get the same way. Like when I just get super exhausted when I'm around a lot of people a lot of energy around and I'm just like okay and so then I get sleepy and I want to go to sleep and I get cranky if I don't get to sleep so she was kind of like that on Mother's Day everybody was like excited to see her because it had been a while everybody's holding her and I noticed that she was super tired and I just feel like at that point I needed to really just be like hey guys um, let me have her so she can go to sleep because she was like barely like staying up and I'm like yeah I know everybody wants to like see her and stuff but I really do have to protect her energy and I realized that she is exhausted so um, she finally went to sleep and she only took like a 30 minute 45 minute nap so I'm just like okay that's not enough 
Um, so then she, once it was time for us to leave, like she stayed up for the rest of the way, but she was still sleepy and getting cranky, you know, just crying and just fussy because she was really sleepy. So I'm like, okay, we have to go because I've got to get her ready for bed, blah, 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 blah. Like now I can't stay at my mom's house forever because I have a baby. <laughs> so that we need to get in bed. You know what I'm saying? Like we have to get her cleaned up, get her a bath, get her fed so she can go to bed. So I, you know, realized that we have to, obviously we have to do that. That's important. So once we got home, uh, she slept in the car the whole way. So I knew that she was like super tired. We got home, uh, cleaned her up. She got a bath and a bottle. And then like she was out. She went to sleep early and was sleep the whole night. She woke up one time to eat and then went back to sleep. And then the next day, which was yesterday, she slept almost all day yesterday because she was just so tired. And I'm like, girl. So that's when I realized, like, wow, she is very much like me where you just get drained from all the people, from entertaining um, and just being around, you know, entertaining people. And um, sometimes you just need to take a break. And for me, I can just kind of like walk out of the room or go outside and take a breather but her she's a baby so she can't just leave so it's my job to take her from that situation so she can get a breather so she doesn't get so tired and cranky so basically that's what i learned on mother's day but other than that we are good to go um yeah but yeah, I'll tap in with you guys later for the rest of this vlog. If I do, I might come back on one more time and then just end the vlog because this vlog, I don't know how long it's going to be, but I did do a lot. So we will come back later. Say bye. She really take a nap, y'all. <laughs> Alrighty, tap in later, guys. Hello. So... We just got back from Sarai's um, PT appointment, and it went well. Um, I don't know if I ever specified what was going on with her arm. Can't remember, but anyway, she's going to physical therapy for her left arm, because me and my mom noticed that it was a little, um, she wasn't really using it that often. Um, as much as her right arm. So we kind of just mentioned it. I mentioned it to the doctor or her pediatrician. Um, the last time I seen her. When was that? It might have been before she got her first set of shots. She might have been like two months, like her two month appointment, I think. I can't remember, but anyway. So she wasn't really using it that often. So I mentioned it to the doctor. The doctor checked it out and was like, mm, it's a little stiff. So I can understand why, uh, you know, like what's going on. So she recommended a physical therapist and she um, told us to, they would call us and make an appointment. So that was done. And she had her first session I, I want to say about two months ago, maybe two and a half, no, maybe a month and a half. And, um, <clears throat> so she checked her out and was like, yeah, there is some stiffness basically. So she wasn't really using it that often, wasn't reaching for things. She doesn't seem to use it or want to use it. Um, so she suggested getting some toys for her to hold on to like a rattle um, there's another toy that she was really interested in. I'm going to show you guys in a second. So I ordered that because she was, really liked it when she was at the, um, office. So got her that. We have a play mat that has little dangling things. So she's all like, get something like that. So she can kind of like bat at things and grab them and, you know, use her arm. So, um, you know, basically use both arms. But at one point we had all the toys on the left side to encourage her to use her left side more often um, and then now that she's using it we've been able to just move the toys wherever she likes them and she's able to use them however she wants um, so we got some rattles we got you know little dangling keys for them to hold on to little rings um, 
And, uh, yeah, so I got her a couple of rattles. This is one of them. These are all on Amazon. Um, her other rattle is like, um, kind of like a teething rattle. It's really small, so it can, like, hold on to, she, her little hands can hold on to it. But also the little round part, she can kind of, like, chew on it if she wants to when she's ready to, like, start chewing on stuff. But, um... Basically, that's what's going on today was her last appointment, so we don't have to have any more follow-up appointments. Thank the Lord that she is catching up with her arm. Um, she sent me home with a whole bunch of exercises last time, and I did those all the way throughout until um, I seen her, which was today. And so all of her little stretches, we were doing little stretches and stuff like that. Um, and what else? I think that's about it. Like, we were just doing more tummy time, things to help with her shoulder and her arm, um, which I think it was her shoulder and her elbow, but they think it could have just happened when she was coming through the birth canal, you know, things like that happened, but they just didn't notice it when, um, you know, before we went home from the hospital, um, they didn't, it wasn't like severe for them to notice that her arm was kind of, you know, but it is catching up. Um, she's starting to use it a lot more now that we have toys and encouraging her to grab things and reach for things. Um, but yeah. But here she is. Say hey girl. I got this play mat from Amazon too. She really likes the one with the mirror, so sometimes I switch her so she can, like, look at herself. She seems to grab it more like that. But she's grabbing it. Well, she's not using her right arm, but... Here's the little toy that I got that the physical therapist had, so I searched for this one. It spins with little rattles and stuff like that, which she can't use this yet, but I use it because it makes noise and it gets her to kind of like follow me so I can see what her tracking is and how good she, you know, follows things. But she's really good at following stuff now, so that's not a problem, huh? Are you having fun? Are you having fun? She's like, um, I'm ready to get up from here. She's been down here for a little bit, so. Um, but yeah, so we just have to basically continue to encourage this, continue to encourage her um, reaching and things like that. And um, yeah, but other than that, that is the end of the vlog. I just want to update you guys on that, even if I don't even know if I spoke of it, that she was going to physical therapy, but um we're trying to do a lot more things so I can get some more stuff, activities on the vlog and things that we're doing when we go places, you know, stuff like that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next vlog. Hopefully doing mom things, doing more things. But I uh, thank you for all the new subscribers. Thank you guys for commenting. Um, commenting really nice things obviously like positive positive vibes all the way but i thank you for all the positive comments thank you for liking it and subscribing it really has helped me a lot it really has helped the growth and i ask that you guys subscribe so you guys can see more of us and then put on the notification bell as well so like you know when i post i mean it's hard to vlog as a mom because I've always got the baby in my arms I've always got something so it's hard to have the camera and the baby in my arms and I'm trying to do stuff so bear with me sometimes we're at home sometimes we do stuff and this is this is literally life because not everything is always gonna be like doing something all the time because she's literally still a newborn lightweight you know she's almost out of that newborn stage but we're still kind of traveling with a newborn and it's a lot I'm still learning how to be a mom. I'm still learning how to, you know, carry a lot of things with me. What do I need? What do I don't need? Because I really don't like carrying a whole bunch of stuff. And then I have to deal with her too. Like, I'm not trying to do that. I'm trying to make my life easier. I'm trying to make her life easier. We are working smarter, not harder. Okay. But with that being said, I will see you guys next time. We'll see you guys in the next vlog.